So, it's been about three weeks since I've been unemployed, something like that. April 16th. Uh, so what have I been doing? Uh, did some of those other vlog things. But this is some of the other stuff I've been doing. I have a 1987 Porsche 944. It's this guy right here. 944. And I have, uh, I was gonna try to uh, fix it up and drive it, but that did not go so well because when I took the motor apart, we were having. We were having trouble getting it started. When I took the motor apart, as you can see, maybe, maybe not. Hold on, let me get a light. Cool. There we go. That's not help. This is the bottom part of the motor. As you can see, in this area, uh, doesn't look like the rest, and that is because a rod was blown. What is a rod? For those of you that don't know, this is a piece gun. This goes in here, like a so, except you do it from the top. One second, let's flip this bad boy around. Oh, that's a beautiful noise. Oh, come on. I'm going to sit you down. There we go. Hi. So, this is the top now. This is how the motor would sit in the car. So, this guy goes in here like so. Okay? sits all the way down and this part little dangle part here gets put around this part so it would be sitting in the car like that except obviously around it okay and then this part goes on the bottom right there so what happened and I didn't do this, I don't know who did, but... So this goes up and down, moves that thing, moves another thing that moves your wheels. This part is going up and down once. Somebody, and for some reason it broke, so blowing a rod, what is that? This is the piston, this is the rod. So this part broke and obliterated the inside of this cylinder. This is the piston broke this cylinder as you can see now so this makes it pretty much useless so what I've been doing in the meantime is taking it all apart oh and then this is the oil pan this goes on the bottom of everything else you can see the oil pan has a nice crack down the middle there. And all this sludge. But you can see all of these little bits. It's all metal flakes from this. So so basically what does that mean? It means car's useless. Motor's useless. Car's not useless. Uh, everything else in the car is pretty much gravy. So I have been parting it out, putting ads on Craigslist, and, come on now, sorry, trying to make some extra cash, and, plus, it gets it out of my parents' driveway. So, as you can see, there's some interior parts here, relatively good condition, for it being over 25 years old. Some other interior panel parts from the back area door panels and most of the other uh, passenger seat most of the other engine stuff is pretty good this is some valves stuff 
that does uh what's in oh it's heavy this part so the piston which is over down there would come uh, top of the piston rests up against here kind of and these things are the valves they open and close depending on if it's uh, letting in air or letting out exhaust and these are your valves and they let in the air and let out the exhaust let in the air out the exhaust it's all very fascinating stuff and then this huh, this is hard to tell but there's a thing in here called a camshaft that spins and makes all that work beautifully so I have a guy who wants the dashboard, so I'm going to be taking apart the dashboard, and I'm sorry for the noise, I have a, I have a little box thing that's supposed to be playing music, but it's not right now because I walked away from the car, but.